A small piece of equipment known as a lightning arrester malfunctioned at a power plant in Odessa, Texas, causing part of the plant to trip offline. While equipment failures like this are common in large-scale power grids, this particular incident was significant. On June 4th, 2022, the grid, designed with redundancy to handle such faults, typically isolates the problem using breakers, with spare capacity from other parts of the grid taking over to prevent widespread outages. However, this time, the issue sparked a chain reaction that sent shockwaves through the power industry. Let's dive into why this event was different and the lessons it reveals about the challenges of integrating renewable energy into the grid. The failure of just a single 300 megawatt power plant sparked an unexpected chain reaction that led to the entire Texas power grid losing 2,500 megawatts of generation capacity, roughly 5% of the total demand. The solar plants across the state, which were generating power at peak output on that sunny day, were especially affected. The sudden drop in production from these solar facilities caused the system frequency to dip to 59.7 Hz, a point dangerously close to triggering an emergency response. The loss of so much generation capacity in such a short time could have required rolling blackouts to bring demand and supply back into balance. For most Texans, the event likely went unnoticed. There were no visible power cuts or disruptions, but behind the scenes, it sent alarms through the power industry. The root cause of the failure wasn't an equipment malfunction in the traditional sense. Rather, the disturbance was exacerbated by a combination of algorithms and configuration settings within the power conversion equipment. These systems reacted in ways that were not anticipated when they sensed the initial fault. At the time of the failure, the solar plants were providing about 16% of the total grid power. While this percentage may seem modest, it is worth noting that on certain days, solar power can account for over a third of the grid's total generation. As the share of solar power on the grid continues to increase year by year, engineering the grid to effectively manage this renewable energy source, and others like wind, is becoming more crucial. Solar power, in particular, poses unique challenges to grid integration because of the need to convert the direct current DC, output from solar panels into alternating current AC, for use on the grid. Inverter-based systems, which include solar panels, wind turbines, and batteries, are the backbone of renewable energy integration. These systems work by converting DC power to AC power, but this conversion requires specialized equipment known as inverters. The traditional power grid runs on AC, not DC, and it's designed to function smoothly with the large centralized power plants that have long been the mainstay of energy generation. But as renewable sources like solar and wind come online, they don't behave like traditional thermal power plants. Thermal plants, including coal and natural gas plants, generate a steady and consistent flow of electricity because they rely on a continuous combustion process that generates heat to turn turbines. These plants have large spinning generators that offer physical inertia. The inertia provided by these massive spinning generators helps stabilize the grid when there are sudden fluctuations in power generation or consumption. This type of stability is crucial for maintaining the balance between supply and demand. In contrast, renewable energy sources like solar and wind produce power in a very different manner. Solar panels generate power through photovoltaic cells that convert sunlight directly into electrical energy. Wind turbines rely on the movement of air to turn blades and generate electricity. The output from these sources is much more variable and dependent on factors like sunlight and wind speed. For example, on a cloudy day, solar panels generate less power, and on a windless day, wind turbines can become idle. To make this renewable energy usable on the traditional power grid, we need to convert the DC power from solar panels and wind turbines into AC power, which is the standard for most of the grid. The process of converting DC to AC is handled by inverters, which are designed to match the frequency and phase of the AC grid. However, this is where the complexity lies. Inverters must carefully synchronize with the grid to ensure that the power generated by renewable sources is compatible with the rest of the grid's power. If the inverter does not match the grid's frequency precisely, it could lead to issues such as power quality problems, grid instability, 
and even system failures. Inverters themselves have evolved significantly over time. Early inverters were mechanical devices that used a motor connected to a generator to produce AC power. These systems were inefficient and difficult to control. Today, most inverters use solid-state electronic circuits to perform the conversion, allowing for greater efficiency and control. However, even modern inverters are not perfect. A basic inverter may generate an AC signal that's a rough approximation of a sine wave, but it may not be an exact match for the smooth, continuous sine wave that the grid requires. To ensure that the output from inverters is as close to the grid's waveform as possible, more sophisticated inverters employ a process called pulse width modulation. In this process, the inverter uses electronic switches to create pulses of electricity that approximate a sine wave. By adjusting the timing of these pulses, the inverter can control the amount of power it generates and ensure that the output is close enough to the desired waveform. However, even with advanced inverters, there are still challenges when integrating renewable energy sources into the grid. A significant challenge in integrating renewable resources is managing grid frequency. The frequency of the grid refers to the rate at which the alternating current oscillates. Most electrical systems rely on a stable grid frequency to function properly. If the frequency drops too low or rises too high, it can cause a cascade of problems, including equipment damage, motor failures, and disruptions in service. Maintaining frequency stability is one of the most important tasks for grid operators. Inverter-based resources like solar and wind do not provide the same physical inertia as traditional power plants. As a result, when there's a sudden drop in power generation or a spike in demand, inverter-based systems are not able to stabilize the frequency in the same way that large spinning thermal generators can. To address this, newer inverters are being developed to provide synthetic inertia. This means that the inverter can simulate the behavior of a large spinning generator, helping to stabilize the grid during disturbances. While these inverters can help address some of the challenges of integrating renewable energy, they still cannot fully replace the inertia provided by traditional power plants. Additionally, inverters must also deal with the issue of fault tolerance. When a fault occurs in the grid, such as a short circuit or a sudden drop in generation, inverters must be able to respond appropriately to protect the system and prevent further damage. However, if inverters are too sensitive and trip offline too easily, they can exacerbate the problem. This is known as ride-through and it refers to the ability of an inverter to stay online and continue providing power during a grid disturbance. If an inverter shuts off during a fault, it can contribute to a cascading outage, as was seen during the Odessa disturbance. Ensuring that inverters have appropriate fault protection without tripping unnecessarily is a key engineering challenge. As more inverter-based resources are integrated into the grid, the demand for better and more sophisticated inverters continues to grow. Engineers are working on designing inverters that can provide the stability and reliability needed to maintain grid integrity while accommodating the growing share of renewable energy. The evolution of grid-forming inverters is one potential solution. Unlike traditional grid-following inverters, grid-forming inverters are capable of starting up a grid from scratch, even in the absence of a functioning grid. This could provide greater resilience in the face of power outages and allow renewable energy systems to operate more independently. Despite these challenges, inverter-based resources also offer tremendous opportunities for the future of energy. The flexibility and precision with which inverters can control power generation and distribution open up new possibilities for energy management. For example, inverters can quickly adjust the output of renewable energy sources to respond to changes in demand, something that large traditional power plants cannot do as efficiently. Inverters also allow for decentralized energy systems, where power is generated locally and consumed locally, reducing the need for long-distance transmission and increasing the efficiency of the energy system. The growing role of inverter-based resources in the energy mix is a testament to the rapid advancement of renewable energy technology. 
However, as the share of solar, wind, and battery systems increases, grid operators and engineers must continue to develop innovative solutions to address the unique challenges posed by these systems. The transition to a more sustainable and resilient grid will require ongoing collaboration between energy producers, grid operators, and technology developers. With the right investments in research, development, ISAIO, and infrastructure, we can create a grid that is more flexible, efficient, and capable of accommodating the growing demand for renewable energy. As inverter-based resources continue to grow, the engineering challenges they present will only become more important. The need for reliable, resilient, and efficient power systems has never been greater, and inverter-based technologies will play a crucial role in shaping the future of the energy sector. While there is still work to be done, the progress made so far is promising, and the energy industry is well on its way to creating a more sustainable and reliable grid for the future.